Hello, Strug Lines. In this video on regular expressions, I'm just going to demonstrate uh, using regex replace and how you might want to move some stuff around. Uh, let's say I have dates, and uh, here in the U.S. we, we follow a, a month, day, year, and in Europe I believe it's usually day, month, year. And so here's here's my haystack, right? This is what I'm going to search with, and I'm going to start a regex replace and my haystack. So I'm using AutoHockey Studio, which really helps you keep on track where you are in your function call. So I'm going to put in my string variable, right? Add my comma. Now see, now I'm on the needle, which you need to put in double quotes. And basically, I want to grab um, some digits, the backslash digit or digits, depending. See here, I have one digit, and here I have two. Um, and then I'm going to have four digits. So I am going, and I need to isolate the thing. So this one is going to, this first subgroup or sub pattern I'm going to get. I'm going to say is going to be slash d slash d, and I could do the the curly braces um, and specify one to two, which actually you know what I I needed I'll well that one I'm going to build them the more flexible way just to make sure that we have it easy right. So this could be one to two of those followed by a backslash, and I'm lazy, so I'm going to come over here and copy this, and paste it, and put it in here, and do this, and change this to, actually this is always going to be, f well, I guess it could be 2 to 4, right? So I'm going to say 2 to 4. Um, of course, that actually would allow for 3, I really should say 2 or 4, but because um, this could be 2015 or 2015. But uh, we're going to live with it the way it is. So I've got my subgroups um, matching these parens. And so each one is going to break it out. It's going to leave the dash there. And then I want to come back in here. And when I hit comma here, now it's saying, okay, what do I want to replace it with? So here's the thing you got to realize. You're only going to replace the things that are in the sub pattern. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add in, I want the second one first, right? So I'm going to say, dollar sign 2, and then a backslash. Let's say, I, actually, I wanted a dash. Let's pretend I want to change to a dash. Dollar sign 2, dollar sign 1, dash, dollar sign 3. Right? So now, oh, and actually, that would not do a darn, th it would do it, but it wouldn't actually store it anywhere. So I'm going to say, new str equals this. And so now, if I do message box str, so to show the original, and then I'm going to add in uh, a new line, and then I'm going to add in new underscore str, save this, reload it, launch it, and I didn't put it in there. Um, what did I miss? It looks like it didn't, for some reason, didn't... Uh, didn't grab any of the, it actually removed them, which is, honestly, it's not terrible. Now, I wonder if those dashes, let me try this, I'm going to swap it out with this, and just see if, nope, that's not it. So the dollar sign isn't grabbing them, I have the prints around, and this is real how things work, right? You go to do something, and uh, you think you got it, and then you realize, oh, uh, no, I messed something up. Um, what, oh, output count. No, replacement, yeah, that was in the right spot. What, so the question is, it, it matched the pattern, one, two, slash, one, two, slash. So here's what I do, right? Let's let's start playing with this. And I, uh, actually, let's just try this first. Okay, it still didn't match there. Um, I am going to knock this stuff out. I'm going to cut it for now. Save, reload. Uh, now that's interesting. Blah, blah, slash, slash, and more stuff. So, so oh, it, it's removing the digits. Oh, because it's doing it everywhere. Okay. Um, I can actually understand that. So it's it's removing, I'm saying, find one or two digits and um, just remove them. And so it's, it's removing them from here and here and, and then from here because um, this is two digits and two digits. And so it removes them. And it's just moving those slashes together. Um, so the question is, why isn't my one dollar sign one replacement equals now that I don't think that's supposed to be in quotes oh apparently it is my bad 
Um, so, so let's throw back in here dollar sign two. Oh, let's stick with the dash. Dash dollar sign three. Wow, and that's crazy. Um, oh, because I got rid of all the other. Um, silly me. Okay, all right. Um, so that was that. Put in the slash here. Again, I'm going to go back and repurpose this code, that one, slash that one, and change that from a 2 to a 4. And there you have it. Okay, so notice the, the two, middle of the 2 here is now in the front. This 12 is here, 2014. Um, and then this one, it's, it's 01, 01 there, 12, and 2015. Uh, regardless of here there was two digits for the day and here there were I'm sorry there was one digit for the day and here there were two it moved them um, if I hadn't built in this one and two it only worked would have worked on one of them but not both and uh, just a quick easy example of one how easy it is to forget a subtle little difference of like oh yeah these need to be in quotes um, I, f for me I was thinking about those are usually unquoted variables when you're I think it's using regex match and you're dumping it into it and so I was thinking there were no quotes there but clearly there are and um, that was also a good demonstration of hey when it doesn't work what do you do right so I start breaking it down and isolate it and do my best to just hey let's focus on one and get the one done and then slowly add to it um, piecemeal into it and just slowly make sure that you you add a little bit of time and keep it going and going often I'll duplicate the line, comment one out, you know, work next, that way I can always revert back and not have to worry that I completely screwed up my thing, because sometimes you think you're really close, and then you end up making so many changes, and you get off, and you get really mad, because you can't just revert back to where you were. That's it. Thanks.